Welcome to another episode of our segment, Conversation, Conversation with, with You. you. I think what they thought was it was open, so you're allowed to go. And on top of that, everybody was practicing social distancing. Um, the tables were wide apart, were, were far apart from each other. Um, the tables, oh, what happened five minutes? That was and doing more police. I don't know. 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 I don't I don't know what to do with the party. I don't know what to do with the party. I don't know what to do with the party. I'm aware of the party. No, no, no. I'm from Pasig. <laughs> this is like the first time I've been out of the house. At, alam, at, um, I thought na I was going to be 20%, 30% capacity. Down. I'm not sure. But I don't pay attention to the party. And. Um, that place was open before, so in Panamitin, so okay, so they're, why would they open? Why would they open if they're not allowed to open? Why would they open? Why would they? Alright, so what's your reaction with that video footage, madam? So, we're talking about um, social distancing. So, it's really very important nowadays. It's because we know that COVID-19 is still out there. It's still an outbreak. Uh, we don't have any vaccine or any treatment for that. So, um, for me, definitely, ang social distancing is not important. Now, with what we've seen, what Casey mentioned, they are observing social distancing. And it, it only took five minutes before the police. So, five minutes um, after they arrived, yeah. that's the time when the police came in and then to they started, arrest. Uh, arrest everybody. So, ilan sila? 113? Yeah, 113. Well, well let's go ahead and uh, mm -hmm. read the article here. Uh, this article is actually coming from latest chica. And this, and this happened last night lang. Yeah. So it says here, uh, Montero, whose real name is Casey uh, Miller, and his wife model Stephanie Dodds were among the 113 people, mm. 70 men and 43 women, arrested by the police or the city police at Sky Bar lo uh, located uh, at Salcedo Village at 5.35 p.m. last Sunday. So that was yesterday, mm -hmm. 5.35 p.m. And according to Makati Police's Deputy Chief for Operations and Concurrent Investigation Unit Chief, uh, Major Gideon, I don't know how to say the last name there, Ines Jr., they were arrested after police were informed that the patrons of the bar were not practicing Social. physical Social. distancing while dining. So this is contrary to One what Casey, Casey mentioned, mentioned on the video okay. that we just watched. Uh, city police personnel, personnel also caught customers drinking liquor on tables near each other. Mm -hmm. All right. In a report from Philippine Star's uh, Gio Ong, Montero stressed that the tables inside the bar were, were far from each other and that he and his wife were at the bar to dine. So basically not to drink. Because according to the police, uh, people were caught drinking liquor. But uh, mm -hmm. for, for Casey's Casey. point, they were there just to... For dinner. For dinner yeah, with, with his wife. So sabi dito, that place was open before so para, before so parang feeling ko, okay, why were they open if they're not allowed to open? So that's what he mentioned on the video, di ba? Maybe that's my fault. I didn't do my research. Mm -hmm. So feeling ko, they're allowed to be open. So I went. So that's what Casey told to ABS-CBN News. So a filmstar.com report said that the Ang Provinciano star wrote in a, in a now-deleted tweet, I was hungry. I went to eat at a place that seemed open. Now I'm arrested. I really should have stayed home and watched Gilmore Girls. He also called out that uh, called out the police's manner of arresting them. In the police uh, mobiles, he said, those who were arrested were forced to sit beside each other violating the same physically distancing rule they were trying to enforce. So the 121 detainees will, will, will possibly face charges for violation of Republic Act 11332 or the mandatory reporting of notifiable diseases and health events on Public Health Concern Act. And may, of course, may multa din yan for sure. Yes, uh, I believe 
uh, I read one article related to this earlier, guys. I believe each of the those who were arrested, uh, they have they have to pay like thirty thousand pesos each. If I recall it correctly, there. Right? That is the fine mm -hmm. of not observing those services. But oh, yeah. I know right now that there are restaurants open. Uh, yeah, and of course, as long as they are observing that physical or social distancing yes. as much as possible, one person per table. Uh, but yeah. looking at the photos, you know, taken by, I believe, the police officers, uh, uh, you can see that in one table, there, there were even there four were, customers, right? Mm -hmm. And on a, on a farther on side, other tables. on other tables, you can see a group of people there, you know, just in one, one place. Well, well, uh, as I mentioned earlier, nga, diba? social distancing is very important. So, right. dapat, it, it should be um, well observed by everybody. It's because, again, with COVID-19, we don't know yet in terms of how we're going to um, sus surpass this. Mm -hmm. It's because wala pang gamot. But I know exactly that per table, I agree with you, it's like one. But if, let's say, that restaurant but, also, uh, but they should also be responsible in terms of making sure that their customers, customers. are re-observing really social distancing mm. because yes uh we understand that uh it's been a while that the businesses are down or down is because um all businesses were closed but right now um we are slowly uh having them back it's just that we need to make sure that they observe the physical distancing and, and any other protocols related to COVID 19 of course yes we we, need, we really need to be serious about it right uh, Ang, ang sa akin ng din sana for, for both uh, parties so the police probably should have um, gave them a warning I guess mm -hmm. at least uh, as I believe I also believe that there should be um, coaching not coaching or something a warning uh, a warning given to everybody that hey tell them what should be done I know that it's been all around the news uh, kaya lang kasi for every one of us bago lang to yes so I think a reminder is still needed, right? Because yes. we are nice. we are new with this implementation. <laughs> but yeah, but going back, Madam, because I, I noticed that there is really a big, you know, there's really a conflict between what Casey Montero said <laughs> that there was a social distancing at, versus what the police said that there was, you know, there was a violation with the social based, distancing. Well, based on the photo, we've seen that there are like four. So, so the, I don't know with them because they yeah. didn't So Siguro, Casey and her and his wife mm -hmm. maybe. You know, maintain social distancing, or maybe in, in a specific area where they were, mm -hmm. there was physical distancing observed. It's but from like the risk. photo taken, mm -hmm. from the photos taken by the police outside, maybe the bar, based on what I can see, uh, there was really a violation. It was clear in the photo. for those probably na nakita sa right. picture. Yeah. But if they were able to show picture of Casey and his wife mm -hmm. not observing it, that could really be a, right. You know, um, but there's strong evidence if it case the I say it's it's what he says, what Casey mentioned and what the police mentioned. And one more thing, madam, that I noticed there mm -hmm. on the photos, you know, taken by the uh, police officers. There were no markings at all right? at this point mm. in time. I think, yeah, uh, restos are allowed, but you could see a lot of markings on the floor. Because right? that's one one way also of reminding everyone that physical distancing should be observed. Yes, so right, even so workplace, I mean, right on the table, uh, one lang, because there's like X marking. And nakikita ko na rin even everywhere. So, mm. mga malls and even yung way ko saan ka, keep right, keep right, keep left. Yes. So, markings really is important. We have, we have to admit, me, you know, I myself, sometimes forget the social distancing mm -hmm. but when I see markings in there, that is a reminder. Follow. Yeah. And then, sana then the resto, the resto bar, if it's a, yeah, it's a resto bar, dapat din limited. They should know how many people. Usually, dapat they know exactly what's the capacity. That's if correct. How many, how many head count can be accommodated at yes. a time. If it's 20%, so they should know na ito na mga pumasok. Kasi That's I agree, there should be a guard there, right? Mm -hmm. And then, ayan. Kasi parang they just allowed na parang they accepted that. Sige, hulihin nyo na sila kasi they didn't follow the right. We don't know kasi <laughs> they haven't, they haven't uh, spoken yet about mm -hmm. the issue. It's just that, yeah, what Casey says and what the policemen I, I believe that the policemen naman, they're just really following. Yeah, and we, we haven't, you know, we haven't gathered any information about the, you know, the side of the uh, owner, owner uh, of the bar. Owner, right? that's the police then, except for the photos and mm -hmm. the videos. Yeah, so, ikaw ba, madam, would you take a risk? You know, going to another city just to be able to dine? Well, kung ako tatanungin mo, syempre tao lang naman tayo. Nakakamiss. Mm -hmm. Nakakamiss to dine with like friends, with family. Mm -hmm. Tsaka iba kasi if the food is served right after you cooked it. They That's correct. Plating and all. Prior to the 
moment when we're in restos are already allowed to the, mm. do dine-in. Mm. They were allowed to serve food before, but the, no dine-in work was wow. allowed. And the experience was really <laughs> yeah. no, not a good experience. <laughs> Bibili ka ng food, tapos di ba lang kung saan mo kakainin, kung nasa mall ka, di ba? You, oh. you have to take it out pa, tapos pupunta ka pa sa car park, parking area, sa loob ng sasakyan. So hindi mo may enjoy Pero ngayon, that dining is already allowed. May enjoy mo rin kahit pa paano, kahit magkalayo kayo ng table. Diba? You have to observe it. Kasi nga, again, uh, we, should, we should take COVID-19 seriously. That's correct. Because, hindi lang sa wala na siyang gamot, ang hirap din ng effect niya sa tao. Yeah, and of course, we know for a fact that the government has spent, you know, mm. billion of pesos, you know, to, to be able to, to, to serve Filipi uh, the Filipino people. Mabigyan ng pagkain. You know, sinakripisyo ng government yon for us to be able to survive and of course to fight this COVID-19 and of yes. course fighting COVID-19 has not stopped yet it is still a continuous battle and this will be the new normal right this is this a new normal this will be the new normal natin. but I, I believe that we should be really educated about what's happening what's COVID probably naririnig lang natin kaya lang kasi ang, naririnig na rin natin yan sa mga um, infected mm -hmm. yeah, infected ng virus diba? and lahat naman sila they, they mentioned that it's not really a good experience and honestly with ako I don't want to experience it I don't want my family to experience it and wala naman sigurong masama if we will go ahead and observe really that uh, social distancing or yung mga simple bagay kasi simple lang siya hindi natin malamang na ginagawa ng madalas but I guess this is really the time to really be serious about it I agree and siguro my, the last thing that I want to say uh, I want to say here, Madam, is that uh, you know, let's just do our part. You know, the biggest contribution that we can do uh, for our fight against COVID-19 is just to stay home. Um, if you want to go out, there, there's really a need to go out. We should be more careful with uh, with wherever we go, with whatever we do, with all our actions, uh, making sure that we uh, abide with the protocols necessary to fight COVID-19. At the end of the day. Kahit naman naka GCQ na tayo, most of the areas are already in GCQ. Mm. You have to remember, there is still COVID-19. Staying at home and social distancing should still be maintained. Wow, Ryan. Yes, Ryan na Ryan yan. <laughs> so yun lang mga pasipot. Thank you so much for spending time watching our video. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, if you're first time here, please do subscribe and hit on the notification bell for you to do, to be notified on our upcoming videos again we are already at 8000 plus subscribers and that is we should be thankful for once again thank you so much for patronizing our channel and this is conversation, conversation with, with you, you.